It's never a good thing when you turn on your in-command system and the computer tells you that there is a problem with your air conditioner and your heater. So what we have, come on you stupid thing, dismiss. What we have is the rear air conditioner does not work. Doesn't do anything. The front air conditioner, at least that one works. There you guys. The front air conditioner is on and working. Uh, shut up. And the rear air conditioner is not. It's not doing anything. So that one should be going, but it's not. Rear air conditioning is zone two. Front air conditioning is zone one. So the way the in-command system and the Dometic talk to each other is up in the, uh, depending on your manufacturer, of course, there is a gateway. This is the gateway. This big plastic Dometic boxy thing is the gateway. So what it does is the system daisy chains your air conditioner. So it would go from your in-command control up to your front air conditioner and then it daisy chains through and comes back here. So this this rear plug right there that is coming into the uh, gateway and then you see that second plug right there on the right that one is what they call an end of line resistor. Uh, it looks like it might be broken maybe maybe not I don't know I'll have to pull it and feel it feel it see what it feels like but that's what talks to the air conditioner and makes it turn on now it may also control your fantastic fans it can do that too because it would connect up into there's a uh, a hole right there that looks like a telephone plug that would connect to your fantastic fans some of the other Dometics actually have a plug set up and deal on the outside which I've gone out and pulled the foam and stuff on here and it doesn't have that so all my stuff is in here one thing I did notice is that they have the airflow direction thing pointing the wrong way you know inside here but I don't think that really makes a big difference I gotta pull this out and see what's up all right so in order to figure out what it, what's going on here I took the gateway from the front air conditioner and put it in the rear air conditioner took the rear air conditioner gateway and put it in the front air conditioner gateway then I reset the toggle switches to what they should be, which is, this is uh, position number two, and that is position number one. Redid the toggle switches, and it still has the problem of no air conditioning or heat. So that tells me that the problem is not between down there and here and the front stuff, but between here and up there. I also did check the end of line resistor. It's about 125 ohms of resistance. Now we got to go up on the roof and take it apart and see what we can find up there. So looking inside the box, everything looks nice and clean. All the connections are good looking. So I'm not sure what's going on and why we're losing connections. So it might be a bad control board or maybe dirty connections down inside the trailer. I don't know. I'll have to get down here and look at those too. Okay, so after several months of uh, waiting for parts to come in because they were back ordered from the factory, which was back ordered from China, because you know everything comes from China, uh, finally got a new control board and put it up in the air conditioner and the heater. So now my furnace works and now the air conditioner works. It was a bad control board. Uh, Dometic wanted 300 and some bucks. It came with the uh, with a thermostat and a freeze, a freeze sensing wire for the uh, uh, evaporator in the air conditioner. Um, got it swapped out, got the right parts, got it swapped out, and everything works good again. So that's how you go about uh, figuring out whether it's your in-command system that's broken and not talking to the first unit up there or the other unit up here uh, between the gateways which is better known as a CAN bus system. <sighs> you know, because everything's better with a computer. Couldn't just leave a little bimetal wire in there that tilts a little little thing back and forth, you know, with some mercury in it to make it turn on and off. Had to put a computer in it because it's smart. In the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty, and uh, that's the air conditioning repair. Bye-bye.